Hello world. So, um, he's a little bit different tonight. Um, my dog's being a really scaredy cat, so she's on my lap. Um, but, um, it's a bit chilly, so I got a blanket. <laughs> but it's good to see you guys. Um, I'm excited to see what the Lord has in store for, um, tonight and for today and, you know, for tomorrow and to see really where, um, he wants to take us. Um, today I stayed inside and I really reflected and uh, I woke up really in a Holy Spirit kind of presence and I'm not exactly sure what was going on in my dream, still figuring that out, um, but definitely the Holy Spirit was in it and um, it took me into a place this morning where I didn't really want to leave that and um, where I just kind of end up sitting down all day in His presence. It was really truly phenomenal. I uh, cracked open my CSSM book, um, Columbus School of Supernatural Ministry, and uh, did some coursework, and uh, did some reflecting and meditating, and I got some chapters done, which was pretty exciting. I have, I guess, been a little bit stubborn and uh, resistant to this whole technology class thing, but uh, the Lord's working on my heart. He really is. And... Um, God is good, you know, and uh, I took some naps today and uh, did some Holy Spirit naps, <laughs> which is just basically conversations with the Lord and Him showing you things and then you kind of drifting off into His arms and coming back to what He's speaking again and it's just been a, such a Holy Spirit kind of day and then hung out with my friend later tonight and it's just such a good, good time, you know, and He was really present and really awesome through it all, but I guess what I want to share is just... Like, I feel like I'm speaking on a lot. It's just where our joy comes from, where our hope comes from, you know? Where his goodness lies, you know? Like, I was reading in my book, and it was really phenomenal, but I was talking about, like, repentance. And we just think of repentance as, like, get on your knees. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I'm so sorry. And then what do we do? We go out. We last a couple days, maybe a week, maybe a month, and then we go back to it. <laughs> How many of you guys can say you do that? Because we all do it. We're humans. We make mistakes, you know? But really what repentance then speaks to is actually just going back into the kingdom, you know? Going back and residing, you know, where he is. And the whole thing I was learning today was just this idea of the kingdom being a reality here on earth. The kingdom being here now not some far away place, you know, and, and the power behind it. We speak so much of doctrine, we speak so much to the word, and all these uh, fine theolog theological words, and all these messages, and I've been to so many different churches that just preach and preach and preach, but how many of those preachers then go home or go out in the streets and take it with them? Not many, actually, if you think about it. I wasn't really raised with that. I was raised where you preached. And then you took it home. You tried to have a great week. You screwed up. You repented. And you went to church again on Sunday. That was it. But this church that I'm going to, Zion, is phenomenal. It teaches me not only to just hear a message, but to take that message to the streets to really make a difference. And I find that just so incredible because I... I don't know too many churches that are like that, and maybe there are a ton, and I'm just missing them, but um, it's just truly really incredible, you know, when I think about the fact that my church is telling me it's not just mine to hear, it's not just me that needs to take it in and try to make it through another week. I don't need to try to get through anything. I need to live for him and through him. He's going to get me through that week. I don't need to ask to get through that week. I need to live through that week, you know? And I really wanted to go out today and really minister. Didn't happen. But I had a lot of ministering happening to myself. And it was really a preparation. I feel like the Lord is really preparing me right now, you know? That he's um, really working on my heart right now to get me ready, to take me out to the kingdom, and to take me to new heights, new places. I'm really excited where he's going to take, take me, honestly. It's super, super exciting. And I just really want to share with you guys, you know, the hope and the promise that the Lord has for us. You know, I just keep seeing images of flowers. And it's so funny because, like, until my grandma passed, <laughs> I 
I had like never like thought much about flowers or cared much about them. Yeah, they were pretty. Yeah, they they were cool to look at, but they didn't mean anything. And now like I am so deep into flower theology, if you want to call it that. You know, flowers mean so much. The Lord can speak to me through, you know, just by looking at a flower, and He can use those type of uh, examples and representations through flowers. Like today, it was a whole process of weeding. If anybody knows weeding, it's not fun. You got thorns, you got unnecessary roots and weeds and all this stuff in your garden. It's not fun to pluck it, but it's necessary or else the plants get choked. Well, the Lord was definitely doing that to me today. He's like, daughter, we got to get rid of some weeds. And I'm just like, do we have to? <laughs> it was painful, you know? It's painful to get in that dirt and dig them up and throw them out. And the Lord was like, call it out. So I did, and then he plucked it out, and I was just like, uh, that's not really fun, Lord. But sometimes, you know, the hard things are uh, not always have to be the most fun, but they're necessary. Weeding is necessary in your garden, you know? It's necessary for your roots to grow deep, especially in the Lord and the Word. But it's also necessary for your flower to start blooming, to really shine and be beautiful and, and um, encouraging, you know? We, we are just a tiny seed, but that seed can't grow if it's choked out by weeds. And if we let those weeds, which are lies and, um, and things that we've gone through, you know, if we let that choke our seed out, our seed can't grow and it's not going to find light or water or nothing. It's not going to receive anything. It's just going to shrivel up. And we don't want that. And the Lord doesn't want that. So I think what we just need to remind ourselves, you know, that weeding is necessary. It may be painful, it may be un not fun, but the Lord will help us get through it. And to that measure, though, the Lord is so good. He is so, so good. And He loves us. And He wants us to flourish. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to do well. So I just really want to encourage you tonight, you know, just really sit deep in the Lord. What is He telling you? What is He showing you? Where is He taking you, you know? It's just so exciting to think of all the possibilities and all the places, you know? It really is, because we don't know what's ahead of us. Only He knows. But we know whose we are. We know who He is. Time to find out who we are. <laughs> you know, who are we through Him? Ask yourself that. You know, what scripture verse stands out to you? I did that the other night. Someone shared their, their favorite scripture, and said so this is really helping them through, and I was thinking, what is mine? So I asked the Lord. And out of all the verses that I've been shown and talked through and everything, he spoke to um, Proverbs 31 and 5, I believe it was. Um, and it's talking about she walks with dignity. You know, she walks with dignity. She faces, you know, life without fear. That verse, um, clothed, you know, it was just such a beautiful, very short little verse. But it was so significant of where I was and who I am. And I definitely encourage you guys to go ask the Lord today. Yeah, just ask Him. Lord, what is my verse right now? What is it that is helping me um, get through life? What is it that is representing me right now? You know, we all have our verse right now. We all have something that's going to help us get through and be better people. You know, better kingdom children for Him. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about Him. It's all about being a better kingdom child all about loving our father and our father loving us you know so I really want to give you guys some encouragement tonight I know it's going to be really short but that's okay and I'm getting to bed before too so hallelujah there <laughs> um even though I did a bunch of resting I realized that the Lord does not want me to stay, keep staying up till two because that's not good for my body it's not good for anyone and I yawn too much too so apologies again <laughs> But I, I really want to give you some encouragement tonight, world, and I really want you to really sink deep into who he is and who we are through him. Who are we? You know, who are you through him? Who are you? I think it's just really time that we start asking these questions and that we really start um, investing and really getting deep into who he is. And this is just the start. It's just the beginning. Let's pull those weeds. Let's pull those lies and those manipulations and those betrayals and all those wrong sins and stuff that's been done against us and maybe we've done to us. You know, all that we've held onto. Let us give it to the Lord. Let us give it, let us give it to Him. 
and just sink deep into who he is. He is such a good father and he loves us so, so much. <laughs> I am so incredibly blessed and I am reminded constantly of incredible blessings, especially through this little one right here. Um, she just brings so much happiness and joy to my heart. And she's just a small little four-footed little critter, you know, but the Lord knew exactly what I needed at what right time. And we've gone through so much in life together. And I'm so excited to go through the next journeys together. Um, it helps have a best friend like that. I mean, people are great, but there's something about an animal that reminds us of who the Lord is and his goodness. I mean, if anyone can show innocence and beauty, you know, through a childlike manner, it'd be a dog. It just is going to be. <laughs> she knows I'm talking about her. But um, right now in these dark times, find what brings you joy. Find what brings you closer to him. Find who it is that you need to be around that's going to bring you closer. I'm so blessed to have people that challenge me and encourage me and really lift me up in this time. And I've um, been doing a lot of praying for them and I've been doing a lot of reconnecting and I've been kind of closing myself off to some things just because I can't face it right now and there's just too much going on. But other things I've been really encouraged to really dig deep into and really build those relationships um, and really build what is happening and really pray about it. I've really found a center of peace through prayer. So uh, friends, family, world, you guys are all lovely. You guys are all wonderful and I hope that you guys have a blessed night and that you take care and that you continue to seek and desire after him. You are a kingdom child after all. It is your honor and your place and uh, your, your job and to a point, you know, to seek after him, to find out who he is, who you are through his eyes. You know, you know whose you are, you know who he is, but who are you through his eyes, you know? Ask him that. What is your spirit, what's your verse right now? What, what's on your heart? What, what joy thing, joy centered do you need to find? I've been getting some communications um, lately about possibilities where I can find and be found joy, you know? And I'm just so excited about these new possibilities and possible opportunities. And I actually really, like I said, got into my class, work, my coursework today, and it was phenomenal. I didn't get as far as I hoped, but I got so far into it, so deep into it, that I was like, oh, man, I've been missing this. So let's open some, you know, let's open some theology books. Let's open some Bibles. Let's open our hearts. Let's open our minds and our eyes. Let's see what's out there. Let's see what God has in store for us, you know? That's what it comes down to. We are kingdom children, and we aren't going to figure it out ourselves. We need him. <laughs> we need him. And um, I think my arm has been captivated. <laughs> um, but yeah, we really need him, and we really need to focus on him. And we really need to sit and rest deep in him. Oh, Lord, I, I think that's all I got for you, world. But I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I love you. <laughs> Have a great one. Bye.